Hello everybody and welcome to the sixth part of this mini-series. In this video we are going to upload our app into Google Play. So let's just head over to the Google Play developer console. We are now in the Google Play console. I already have an app here. If I want to add another one, and I do, I will just click on create app. At this point, Google Play console we will invite us to select the language. I will pick English. Here we go. And then to pick a title, I will call it Taxi in Cuba. Why not? And then I will click on Create. At this point, a new form will appear. This form will actually allow us to upload some marketing material that will help us to better present the app to potential users. For example, we can upload an icon, we can upload screenshots and many other things. But this is not going to be the object of this course. You can actually do it on your own. We will head instead to this other tab, which is release the app. Okay, another form will appear. We will scroll down, production, manage, click on it. Then we will scroll down again. We will click on create release. Here we go. At this point, Google Play will ask us if we want to allow Google to manage our keys. This is the default option and preferred option. We will click on continue. Here we are. Selecting that option was very important because this will come really handy along the way when we will take care of removing the URL bar, which is still a pending task, remember? Anyway, at this point, we are ready to upload our app bundle. We will just get it from here. I will browse through the folders on my computer. Uh, users. It's usually in the Android Studio Project folder. Then you select the app, Taxi Cuba, here we go. Then up again, then release, app bundle. Right. Now it's going to complete the upload, hopefully. Our app bundle has been uploaded successfully. However, this doesn't mean that our app is available for download yet. Let's see the next steps that we must take. We scroll down and over here, we should add a little note about the release and we will call it first edition, put whatever you like. And then we will click on save. Let's see what happens next. Looking good. There is a new button here. Examine. We will click on it. Let's see what happens. Okay, this is the final page, submission page. Uh, no red error. Everything seems to be fine. Uh, okay. This is the button that we must press for final submission. However, you can see that this is still grayed out. Why? Well, the answer is really simple. You can see over here on the left hand of the screen in this navigation menu that there are a few items which display a gray circle, yeah, which is still gray. And well, all these things are forms that you must complete and uh, make sure that this little thing will turn green, right? You want to see four green check marks. You can take care of that on your own and you should do it before watching the next video where I will show you how to get rid of the URL bar.